Hey guys, Zero here again, and I've got another Gundam on the unboxing for you. Um, I picked this kit up because I had originally picked up the Gundam Barbatos uh, Master Grade. And I really like the kit, I haven't put it together yet, but I'm going to. Um, but I was looking at the kit, and I was looking at the Lupus Rex. And it reminded me a lot of... A character from another video game. So, I picked up the Full Mechanics Barbatos Lupus Rex. We're going to convert this kit into a, a really cool crossover anime character, and I'll leave that for later. I'll tell you guys what it is at the end of the video. But um, we're going to crack this open, take a look at it, and see what comes inside. Alright, guys, sit tight. Let's take a quick look at the 1 100th scale Full Mechanics Gundam Barbatos Lupus Rex. It's a mouthful. <clears throat> Here we have the side of the box. Panel there. Sorry about the glare, guys. It's hard to avoid with fluorescence. So, I got this kit off eBay, of course. Um, as I do everything nowadays. Would have for a really good price. For a while this kit was running like sixty to seventy dollars, sometimes even more. Um, and it finally dropped down to forty five, which was what it was originally. So I picked it up because and I, I have a Barbatos already. I have the uh, master grade. But after looking at Barbatos, as, as I said, I I I'm seeing something, you know, and I, and I didn't think about it when I first bought it. I was just like, I just watched Iron-Blooded Orphans, and I was really excited about the show. It was a really good anime. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's on um, Netflix and Hulu. Uh, you can you can get it for free, dubbed or, you know, uh, subbed. So I was really excited. I grabbed the Barbatos because it's a Master Grade, and I love Master Grades. But then I found out that they made this kit which is the version of the Barbatos that I really personally liked in the show. Just the, the whole look of it, the whole feel of the, of, the, of the mech after they had changed up the parts and it, its final form or whatever you want to call it. Um, once he defeated the, um, the uh, mobile armor, and then he's got the tail there. And I just liked the way it looked, but as I got, you know, as I went on, I was looking at the original Barbatos, and I was like, man, this this looks kind of demonic, obviously, because it's supposed to, you know, represent that. Barbatos is a demonic name. Um, and Lupus Rex, you know, it's, so it's like the great um, bearded wolf or some, I can't remember what it was. It was something of that lines. Um, but like I said, I saw it, and I was like, man, I really, really feel like this looks like a character from a video game that I saw way back and I actually have a figure for an action figure for um, and I said you know what if I combine this kit well I combine this kit with another kit to make a look-alike of that figure or that character um, kind of like a quick little crossover you know These, now these are more like master grade instructions. I know they're not master grade, but they're more like the master grade instructions. Not like the high grade where you flip it out and it's like a big leaflet. This is more involved. Obviously, you've got the inner frame. I apologize for my voice, guys. I just had a procedure and uh, a bronchoscopy, and it always messes with my throat. There you go. I love the mace in this kit. I don't know why in the master grade they sm they they shrunk it down. Um, almost I don't remember seeing the master grade version in the anime at all. Not even for a little bit. It was mostly the, the, like like this one, you know. So it's nice and big. It gives that whole intimidating look. 
I will probably, because of what I'm doing with this kit, take this and put this with the Master Grade instead of the one it has already. So I'll, I'll switch out the maces, let the Master Grade have this one because it just looks right, you know. Um, and then this one probably won't have any weapons at all, um, except for the tail weapon. But you'll see once, once, once I explain what I'm going to do with it, you'll see why. Here we have the Ace Brew. And this is where um, a majority of the color is in this kit. There's literally one other colored sprue and then some white sprues. But everything else is this dark, um, either dark brown or dark metallic gray color. So you've got your yellow pits for your claws, your nice uh, V-fin, um, aerial antenna, whatever, horns, <laughs> your vents here. Then you've got your the back of the or the front of the foot. I'm assuming, yeah, that's the front of the foot. It's interesting because they don't have the heels on here. And there's the chin. Then you've got some the shoulder pieces. These don't have the holes in them with the clear plastic stuff that the uh, the other ones come with. Yeah, here we have the e sprue. And this is one of the two sprues that have all the white pieces. So you've got the legs, the arm covers, the backpack, shoulders, inside of the chest there. Oh no, that's no, that, that's the backpack. I apologize. It's, you know, for it not being like a master grade or anything like that, I know a lot of people don't like this kit too much, but it is very detailed. There is a lot of panel lining here, which is really cool. Unfortunately, when I'm done, you might not see a lot of those panel lines. Here we have the F sprue. And again, more parts. There's some uh, arm parts there. Backpack parts. Side skirts and vents, you know. Cool. Again, there is a lot of detail on these bits. And I don't know if you can see it. It's probably washing out because it's white. But there's a lot of uh, panel lining detail. I don't know if it's master grade level, but somewhere in between a high grade and a master grade. Here we have the C1 sprue. And this is the start of the, um, the, uh, the mechanical parts. So frame parts and things like that. And they're all on these dark sprues. And like I said, this is like really dark gray with a little bit of brown in there. And there's, looks like the legs, feet, all the joints. So this is going to be interesting. I definitely, I'm going to be painting this whole frame um, very interesting color. So here's the D sprue. And the frame parts. And I got to say, I mean, I think it's kind of cool, you know, that these 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 kits have inner frames. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, again, it's not master grade level, supposedly, but it's 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 close. And you've got the extra hands there. You won't need these hands, supposedly, but there's cool. you got extra ones in case you want to slap it on a different Gundam, um, because it actually comes with the Lupus hands. We'll see in a sec. Here's a B5 sprue more frame parts but you can see here these are the lupus rex hands how huge they are and there's the gravity lupus rex hands <laughs> there's the helmet or the head some parts for the head actually and the chin the face plate more joints this is again i'm going to be painting this all up so this should be very interesting when it's done here's the g sprue Closer for you guys. Thin plastic. I just bent the sprue a little bit and it almost gave way. I'm not sure which parts are these, but there you go. Might be the cockpit here. Here is the C2 sprue. More joints, connectors. It's probably. And I've been told that this doesn't move very, it's not very articulated, especially the legs. 
but what I'm what I'm going to use it for is not doesn't need to be that articulated. Here's the I1 sprue, the mace. And look at how big that is. That that's that's huge. You need the two halves. There's a spike that goes through it too, I believe, that you can extend. And let's see, this is it right here. So it's very interesting, very cool. I'm excited to put this, put this together. And this is going to go for the master grade, like I said, so it's going to be pretty cool. Here we have the B1 sprue. Um, more parts. I don't know if these are legs or arms, but these little joints here, I gotta paint these up. So it's something pretty cool. Alright, here we have the PC sprue and the I sprue. The PC sprue, as you can guess, is poly caps. There's something new on here though that I've never seen before in a kit. I mean, what do I know, right? But these little pipes here, that's pretty cool little polycap pipes. Very weak, but I'm sure once they go on, it'll be pretty cool. There you go. And here we have the eye sprue, ironically, and that's the Barbatos's eyes there. Little tiny green piece, neon green. It's not really neon green, it's more just a bright green. Um, I mean, it's just kind of cool. I, I wish they would have come with a clear piece, like every other Gundam ever. Um, but that's fine. We can work with it. It's it's probably not going to stay green anyway. I, I don't. I think the eyes of the the, the character I'm going to do are yellow. So we'll we'll be painting these up. Last but not least, we have the decal sheet, and this again is uh, based on a foil sticker. So there's a lot of color corrections there with all the yellowish gold. Um, we've got the dark blue bits, and the green neon green that goes around some of the plating but we will not be using these at all so I'll throw them in the pile of never used stickers for Gundams um, not that I don't like them I just am gonna be painting this entire kit so I will probably either paint these colors on if that's the color I want to go with or you know probably not so I don't think I'll be using these blues and the gold mm. No, because the character I'm going to do doesn't really have gold on him at all. So it's not even a little bit. So, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That is the 1-100 scale. Uh, full mechanics, uh, Barbatos Lupus Rex. Um, he will not remain that way. He is actually going to be converted uh, with another Gundam that I have. And I'm going to create my version of a Gundam, or my Gundam version of Diablo from Final Fantasy VII. Um, I'll put a little picture right here so you guys can check it out. Uh, if you look at the details on that character, he is very, very much demonic. Like, uh, this, this Gundam is very much demonic like that, that character. So, it's going to be a definitely interesting uh, paint job and work around and kit bash, see if I can do it. I have the wings from the Death Sith Hell and Death Sith Hell Custom from Endless Walls, and I believe I'm going to be using the Endless Walls wings uh, from the 1100 scale, uh, just because they have that more bat-like look. Um, so stay tuned, and it's going to take me a little bit, but stay tuned. Uh, stick with me, you will see it. I will, I will be showing it off, because, I mean, I've never really done a full-on Gundam kit bash, so this will be my first time trying it, so we'll see if it works out. Um, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, as always, like, subscribe, share, and please, if you get the opportunity, come check me out on the um, Fox Valley Gunpla uh, Discord. I'll put the link in the description below. You guys can come chat about everything uh, Plamo, so not just Gundams, but anything plastic model related, or, you know, they even do RCs in that group, so um, come check us out. And there's Zoids, Gundams, there's Voltron, you know, whatever, whatever model kit we can come up with that are like Max, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Someone's putting together the real grade one right now and it looks fantastic. Um, and as always, you can definitely find me on the Tabletop Dungeoneers Discord server where we talk about everything from Gundam to um, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, crafting, 3D printing, RC cars, 
you name it, we talk about it. Um, and if they're not really into it, they'll, they'll definitely be more than willing to talk about it still. So come check us out on either one of those uh, servers. And like I said, I'm there. I'm, I'm available to chit chat, yell at, holler, whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching.